Welcome to our bikes, heroes and brews with nerdy dudes. We are your friendly neighborhood bureaus. Ty, Core, Kev, and uh, we got a villain or dick coming out because why not have a villain or dick with a special guest? And why not do it with Arrow Season 2, Slade Wilson, because I love Season 2 of Arrow. Everyone loves Season 2. Yeah, season 2 is probably my favorite. Awesome. Yeah. And Manny Bennett, he played a pretty damn good Slade oh, yeah. Wilson. He's awesome. Awesome. I think he's fantastic. Awesome. So, so um, I'm, I'm going to, Court, I'm going to put you on the spot. Put me on the spot. And say, Court, Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, played by Manny Bennett, Arrow Season 2, was he a villain? Or was he just a dick? I love the way you do that. Choose wisely. I love the way you do that. Um, <laughs> I loved Slade. Like, from, like, day one, like, when he, like, showed up in the flashbacks, I was like, Slade is awesome. Yeah. Even, like, I didn't know, like, the, like, I didn't know Slade Wilson turned into Deathstroke eventually. I had no clue. Like, I loved Slade. I loved Matter the way he played him. Um, I think Slade is a villain. I think Slade is, is like, dead-ass, like, scary. Like, he was uh, out for revenge, like, he had a vendetta, like, he did not stop, like, the way, like, spoiler, like, the way that he ends, like, like, the thing with like, Oliver, like, between Thea and Moira, like, mm-hmm. um, that's, that's very that's villainous. That's so, like, you can't, you can't kill, you can't, like, the way that it happened, because, like, he's trying to relive, like, the Shadow and Sarah thing, where Oliver apparently chose Sarah, but yeah. that was a stupid scene anyway. But, um, <laughs> sorry, but it was. But, uh, like, I just think that the way that it was done, it was just like... It's very was, it's very villainous. He was just, yeah, like, he was death, like, he didn't care. Who he, like, and the thing is, he was bringing back a point in their lives, in yeah. their past. So he was making Oliver relive a choice he had made, yeah. but made it even more difficult for him. Right. Because I know Slade thought he loved the shadow and they had this thing yes. that could have gone forward. But because his love was so in depth and he was so blind to certain things that he was like, I need to get my revenge on Oliver. And I'm going to do it the same way that he took the love of my life away by using it on his mom and his sister. Yeah. Which, which I've always said when we do this segment, every villain has dick tendencies. And when you kill someone's mom, you're, you're a dick. Obviously. Like, but no, but in the way he did it different things to make you to watch. Those, yes. To those in the way he did it makes him a villain because you're just you're like you and need to make a choice. Not even just that. Like like the way it led up like in that season like I hadn't watched it. I, don't, I haven't watched that season in a while like season two which is mostly when Slade is being a villain but like the way it leads up like how he shows back up in Star City or I'm sorry Starling City in the time right? Yeah. Starling City and like he's like in the Queen Mansion and like going on like a tour. I love that. Yeah, it's like awesome. you know what I mean. Like because you, like, you the art. You feel the yeah. tension. You feel all that and tension. And Oliver's like got his phone on Felicity and like she's listening to it and like he can't do anything. No, like, that's that's a villain. Like, yeah, that's villainous. Because he gets to invade his home. Yeah, like, and yeah. do what he wants, knowing that Oliver's not going to do anything because his secret is trying to be kept safe. Right. And he knows that. So he can do whatever he wants in front of his family. And he knows he can't do anything because if he does anything, like, to fight back or anything, it will expose his secret. So, like, he, Slade knew everything about Oliver going into the season. And he exposed everything. And he made him suffer the whole way through, which, in my opinion, makes a villain. What's what's your thought, Kev? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no question. I think, um, I mean... Some of my favorite villains are ones that, you know, you, you in the beginning you kind of feel for them. Like you almost understand yeah. why they're doing what they're doing right. and, and the decisions that they're making. And for him, I, I feel, and it's been some time since I've watched Arrow season one and two, but I believe he was sort of like an adversary to Oliver, right? Yeah. You know, they were sort of like in this together. He like told him on the island and stuff. Yep, like exactly. That. And then there was one little thing that happened that kind of just like flipped the switch. Yeah. You know, and then you're kind of like, well, I understand why he's doing what he's doing. And to me, you know, from then on out, with with him showing up, you know, at, at, the, at the Queen Mansion and everything, yeah, 
and I know we already mentioned this, but you know, killing Oliver's mother right in front of him, like making, like those two had eye contact. They were staring yeah, at yeah. each other when he when he stabbed her. Yeah. And it's just, to me, it's just that it, killing the hero is too easy. Yes. Right. You Always. have to you have to make them suffer. You yep. have to break them down slowly. So what do you do? You attack the ones that love. that yeah. he or she loves. Yep. And to me, that's that's a villain move. Yeah. Right and totally, there. like and like and like Stephen Amell actually had said like. The hardest scene for him to shoot was that scene with really with more, uh, Well, then you because you know you're losing a cast member. Yeah, no, not even that, but like he's like yeah, that too. But like it was just emotional. Like, well, yeah, because the thing is, you work well out of character. You work with these people oh, for a whole funny. season, and then a whole other season, so you're close with them. And you, and when you act with someone, you're cl- you're building that bond, right? So when you know you're going to lose that person off off the show. They might not be a regular anymore. They may come back for flashbacks and stuff, mm-hmm. but they're not that regular character anymore. So not only are you using that, losing the character, you're losing the actress or actor. So that's what makes it more emotional too, because you can you can even think that you can invest in that and say, this is the last time I can have a nice scene yeah. with this person. So you can really put your all into that. Yeah. And it's and you can tell because it works out well in the scenes, and it's really emotional when you see it played out, like post editing on on the screen. And I just think that Manu Bennett, especially with his delivery too, just... Oh, he's great. He was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. His, his acting and his delivery, I know he had conflicts with the Arrow cast. Yeah, it wasn't crazy. But he just... Did he really? Yeah, he yeah, had... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, he had... There was conflicts, but... His, what, in what way? Like, it was mm, like... Just personal things, I guess, and the way he acted. Yeah, like, just like, remarks and things towards yeah. female... Oh, female really? Show. Yeah. Like I don't think that he's spoiler he's back and I don't think people are very happy about it. But well, the thing is, I like, didn't the, know that. Maybe not the the, <laughs> oh, shit. the actors and actors are happy, but uh-huh. the fans are. Oh happy yeah, like because he was like a, such a great villain, yeah, Dick, not Dick, that yeah. he he brought people back to the show. Yeah. Like I was excited to see him in season three when they had him on the island when he mm-hmm. escaped, and oh, it was yeah. him and what Thea. Yeah, that's when she finds yeah. out that she killed Sarah. Yeah, so it was cool. It's cool to bring him back. I think having him in season five was awesome. Him possibly being in season six, which I think is confirmed, is gonna be awesome. The episode six um, and five is called Deathstroke Returns. Yeah, so I, I'm excited for that. Spoiler. I think he. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this. Spoiler alert. Yes, yeah, spoiler it all day. I mean, you guys. Yeah. I mean, it's season two of Arrow, which was what? No, but I just four saw years ago. Six, episode five. That doesn't matter. Um, you can see what happened. I mean, the guy definitely yeah. commands the screen. You know what I mean? For me, I was always so. He's a big dude, like me. Every time he was on, yeah. I was always like focused on him the whole yeah. time, you know. Um, and Deathstroke is one of my favorite DC villains. Yeah. Um, yeah, even in like you know the Batman universe and everything mm-hmm. like that. So uh, I'm a little biased in that sense, but but I think he did a fantastic job. Yeah. Learning all that little behind the scenes stuff, I'm like. I have you don't know behind the scenes stuff. I, yeah. I got you on that one. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, right, like, yeah. like when we turn the cameras off, mm, you know, a little more about we that. Got a little, yeah. But um, if we're just going to look at him as excluding that and his portrayal right. of Slade yeah. Wilson, um, I have to say he's 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 definitely one of the top villains I've ever seen yes. on television. Especially on the television version. Yeah. I, yeah. I would agree. Like Even like looking at like you know, all the shows that came out, like I liked Zoom a lot in... Flash. Yeah, I love Zoom. Yeah. The thing is, I, I think my favorite on television was Negan, and I think Zoom. Oh, well, Negan, I think, you can't I think Zoom, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Zoom and yeah. Deathstroke yeah. yeah. are very close for like a top two and three. Yeah, I don't um, think Negan can be compared to these guys. That he's just on his own tier. Oh, I agree with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's but just over. If I had like a top three <laughs> yeah. like villains on TV, yeah. like in the past like ten years, I would say Negan, and then I can't decide I, between Zoom no, and Deathstroke. I really like not. To yeah, he was awesome. I, I have a, I think I, I just have like a just like a my heart goes to Slade just because oh, season no. two brought Slade's it out. Awesome, like, Prometheus was also Slade? I don't know the actor's name for that. Oh, uh, Josh Legara. Yeah, he was he was awesome. Yeah, it's Josh I would say he's probably five for me. He's awesome, man. Top so five. But, uh, no, but Slade too. Like the thing with Slade was you had his backstory. He was like Oliver's backbone on the island. He saved his ass how many times? Yeah. yeah. And then trained does him. this whole fl- yeah trained him. That's why Oliver gets so frustrated. I can't beat him. 
it's 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 good. Yeah. It's, he's that was a great arc, and he's a great villain. And just, just come on, come here. Yeah, you're raising your hand. Well, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, James. Let's go. You're raising your hand like we're in high school. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know why this lady like wanted to go next to me. Oh my god. Come in. Come come stand next to me or Kev. So what did you say? I said why does Slade go against Oliver? Yeah. Because remember when he was there on the island? I forget who it was. The guys on the ship. They told they were gonna kill someone, and it was either Sarah or Shadow. Yeah, and, oh, and yeah, Oliver Shadow. picked Sarah. Yeah. He loves Shadow. I remember now. Thank yeah. you. You filled in. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Remember that smile. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're giving people knowledge on the way. It's yeah, cool. So we have a live like, studio audience. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Remember when your mom was our live studio audience once? She was awesome too. She was? Oh, she was. Yeah, she did. She sat outside with her blue moon. Yeah, with her blue moon. She just took it all in. Right. That's yeah. Funny. Shout out to my mom. She didn't raise her hand like a child, though. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Court's putting you on blast right now. Damn. Before this even started, you guys are yelling at me to shut up. So what am I going to yell it out? Exactly. She's putting us in her place. Anyway, <laughs> before my sister puts this more in her place, thank you for watching. Let us know, is Slade Wilson... Villain? <coughs> or just a dick? Season 2 of Arrow. Villain or just a dick? Let us know. We want your opinions. We got our crowd laughing. That's a good sign. Good sign. Thank you for watching. Love we'll laughing. see you on Thursday for trivia.